All right, everybody, welcome to another episode. Today, we're gonna to talk about accessories for your Xbox. But before we get started, please go down below, hit the thumbs up button to help out the YouTube algorithm so we can grow. And then comment on what accessories you've pre-ordered or what you're planning to get when you actually get your console. The first thing I wanna go into is a monitor or a new TV. The big thing about the new consoles is they're actually state of the art this time around. It's hardware that is just now hitting the market, all right? Based on AMD's new Zen 3 CPUs and their RDNA 2, this is gonna be a big, big time for you console gamers and PC gamers alike this time. So make sure you had the TV or monitor for it. 120 FPS, good picture quality, 1440p to 4K. Now 120 Hertz 4K monitors are very, very expensive. So my recommendation is to do 1440p, 144 Hertz. Do some research and figure out which one's best for your budget. But that's my number one recommendation is experience the resolution and the frame rate. The second one is a protection plan. I talked about it in a video earlier. These consoles have issues. They either outlast their controllers or the controllers outlast them. Well, let's cover both. Wherever you're purchasing your Xbox at, make sure you're getting a protection plan. I know at Best Buy where I work, it's only 70 bucks. That's the same price as your first controller. It's included. All right, so make sure you're getting a protection plan on your consoles. It's like two years to three years. And within that time, you'll probably be looking to get the upgraded version anyways. All right. The third one is right behind me, Game Pass. With Xbox, get Game Pass, especially if you have a PC like I do and an Xbox. Game Pass Ultimate's amazing. I can play with my friends. I can play with my son down in North Carolina. It's only 15 bucks a month and you get hundreds of games included. It's absolutely amazing. It's the best deal in uh, console gaming, in my opinion, and even PC gaming. And it's only going to blow up. All right. And the next thing and final thing that I want to recommend right now is a media remote. The main reason I bought my Xbox One S was actually to be a 4K Blu-ray player. And then when my son comes up to visit to play his Xbox game so he could feel at home. Obviously, I ended up getting Game Pass from work and things changed. I played Game Pass on it with him. I use it as my 4K Blu-ray player. I use it on the TV behind me as my media streamer. Mm -hmm. And I also use uh, Game Stream on my actual um, PC, which is over to my right here. All right. So everybody, go down to the bottom. Make sure you like comment, subscribe. Let me know what you're getting with your Xbox. What are you getting with your PlayStation? You can comment about that. I'll also, I'll be doing a video about that in a couple of days and make sure take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time. All right. Take care.